Hi again everybody and welcome to another series of videos. In this series I will use the JSON Web Token to authenticate and authorize users in a RACE API application. In this video I will create the project and the services to register and authenticate the users. If you like to see how I implement the solution, you can see the entire series. So go ahead. Well, let's open our terminal. And here I will go to my desktop folder. Um, I will create my project. JSON Web Token API, it will be the name. Okay. Done. Uh, I will open it with Visual Code. It's the editor that I use. And um, I will open another terminal. Uh, here I will do my initial commit initial commit done well it's time to go to our gem file uh, here I will comment a line this one uh, because I like to use my bcrypt to secure my user password so I will run the bundle uh, and I will add my changes and this is well at bcrypt gym to secure user password okay yes so uh, let's continue to create our user model um, uh, i will use the rate right generate command to generate this model um, and the model will have two attributes the username and the password the hest the second one um, well i would use the password the hest to secure our user password uh, using using bcrypt so um with this command i will create uh, two files the model file and the migration file to create our table user and in the model file i will use the has secure password method from bcrypt to secure us or user password and now it's only a matter to run our migration to generate our user table and in the schema uh, you can see both columns username and password hest so let's commit our changes and add user model and that's it clear and let's go to our gem file again uh, i will add uh, another gem uh, the json web token gem to encode and decode our json web token in the application so and um, once i have added this gem i will commit my changes a json with token gem and that's it i will add a uh, method in the application controller uh, class to be available in whatever controller it can be used the method will be encode token 
I will use the um, JSON Web Token Gem, the method encode to encode uh, the pay payload that I will pass. And I will pass also the secret that I define as secret. Okay, I will add my changes and um, I will add encode token method to encode the JSON web token. Okay. And yes, this method will be used in uh, a controller that I, I will create, the user controller. Okay, and I will put the option no test framework. Uh, because I, will, I I will not like to generate the text files here uh, I will define the create action to create a user or to register a user and define the user params yeah. params dot permit I will receive the username and the password to create the user. Okay, password. Yeah, and uh, here I will create a user with user dot create, and I will pass the params, the user params, and I will validate if the user uh, was created or was valid uh, if that's the case I will create the token and here I will use the encode token uh, method that I have just created uh, what I will return in the token will be the user ID actually that I will get from the user and I will render the JSON response with the user that I create and the token that's it token okay and the status will be okay okay in, in case uh, the user is not valid I will render uh, an error message that will say uh, invalid username or password and the status will be unprocessable entity okay and that's it I will add my changes um git add and git commit add create users controller and create action to register a user and that's it well done the only thing that is missing is uh, the route to this action well uh, I will use the resource method to add 
the routes for users and I will use the option only to only create the route to or create action and here we can see that the route has been add but user and the, the endpoint it users well let's commit and add route to um register a user The last step is to test or register service. Uh, I will run the Rails server and um, I have already created a re request to create our user. As you can see, here is our body and I have set up uh, the local environment with local host as URL. Okay let's send our request and invalid user or password something is uh, happening unpermit parameter uh, user let's see our params okay yeah uh, we need to require our user according our body structure uh, okay yes let's test again and there is another error undefined local variable or method token did you mean talk okay let's see what's happening in the action uh, okay yes uh, is missing an end okay again right we have uh, create the user and uh, we get the attributes and the token well that's it uh, it's working working properly and i will commit the these changes uh, uh, first i will add them and fix uh, user params no fix params and create action errors okay there is a missing part uh, actually I need to add um, a login action to authenticate our user so I'm gonna uh, add the login action I will find first of all the user I will use the find by method and uh, here I will find it by the username okay from the params username so I'll uh, I will validate that the user exists and in case it exists I will authenticate it uh, with the authenticate method from bcrypt and I will pass the password from the params if it exists I will um, create the token um, it's 
almost the same actually it's the same lines of curve from the great action so I think I will use the same curve I will copy and paste it here and it will be the same for the else branch um, all right so um i will run oh first uh, uh i will add the route for the login action to the controller will be the users and the action it's the login now I will run the server to test if the service works I have already created uh, another request with the same body from the create action and that's it we are getting the token well le let's let's commit our, our changes okay um at login uh, action yeah action uh, to authenticate a user a user well that's it